Hi everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, November 27, 2017. It's good to be back. I missed all of you. I hope you had a great holiday and a great weekend, but it's time to get back to work. So let's do that. Let's start off with this. As I am doing this video blog, the stock market is higher. All the major indices are up a little bit. Nothing major, but you know better. You know you shouldn't be looking at what the stock market is doing. You should be looking at what the bond market is doing right now. And I want you to have a look at this. Bonds right now are under pressure. Now, if you were to go to my website, traderschoice.net, right side of the page, under the chat room, you're going to see a big red line. That's bonds that are selling off right now. Junk bonds are selling off again right now as well. Mark my words, keep your eye on that today. If this sell-off today continues, we're going to see stocks fall as well. Remember what I said at the beginning, stocks are higher right now. They are absolutely determined to keep this propped up. It's possible that they don't get in there and start buying bonds, but we've been seeing the same phenomenon occur over and over and over again for the past couple of weeks. You've been watching this in near real time if you've been following um, the chart on my website. It's, it's insane. So again, bonds are selling off, and don't be surprised to see this reverse t today. This is what they have been doing, uh, and it's, it's just incredible. I want to talk more about that in a minute, but let's also talk about Bitcoin here. It is near $10,000. Three months ago, I told all of you, we are going to hit ten grand within a year. I think we're at five thousand at that point. Uh, it has been a meteoric rise here with regard to Bitcoin. Uh, we will be at ten grand in a very short period of time. I wouldn't be surprised if we get there today or the next several days. The dollar, the dollar is under pressure again. I mean, you know, we had this. The dollar has been been sinking since December pretty much almost in a linear fashion that we had a bump and now we're resuming that downward trend just like I told all of you this was going to happen and it's happening once again here. Gold is higher as I am doing this video blog. Silver is under a little bit of pressure but I hate talking about these things because they are not real. There is no price discovery mechanism here behind the metals whatsoever. As a matter of fact nothing is real across the spectrum of asset classes but we got to do what we got to do to take advantage of this. And these suppressed gold and silver prices are part of it. So let's just put this together real quick. Bond market, credit worthy bonds and junk bonds are under pressure right now. And, and as you can see, stocks are somewhat struggling here. Yes, they're higher, but not by much. So unless they, and you know who they are, start buying up bonds here, uh, the stock market is going to follow lower. I don't believe they're going to let that happen, at least at this particular time. And, and the market is ignoring everything. On Friday, Janet Yellen herself stated that the stock market, are you ready for this, should be prepared for a steep drop. This is Janet Yellen, who conveniently has one foot out the door. You know that already. Uh, I think the new Fed uh, chair is going to go through their motions today of, of congressional hearings or whatever. It's all just a show. You know that. Um, but the main thing that we need to keep our eye on here and why Bitcoin is surging is the action that we're seeing here in the bond market and the action that we're seeing here with the dollar. Because of the blockchain people, mark my words. Bitcoin is probably Bitcoin or anything connected to a blockchain for that matter um, has does have a true price discovery mechanism behind it. Whether or not you feel like it's in a bubble, I know a lot of you out here think you're bubble experts uh, <laughs> as of late, and uh, well, good luck with that. Okay, but um, seriously, let's keep our eye on the bond market. Watch the sell-off today again. You can see this right on my website on the chart I set everything up for you so conveniently so you can watch the bond market over here you can watch Bitcoin here if you're so inclined you can watch the paper derivatives of gold and silver here you can watch the gold and silver spot price under that and under that I set up a nice chart analyzer for you that you can change the ticker on and do whatever you want I really hope you take advantage of this I, I, I really 
really hope so. Because, again, what do I want for you and for me? To completely and absolutely rip the face off of everything that we possibly can right now. This is the time for action. Not to sit back like a deer in the headlights and do nothing. This is opportunity that I've been outlining for all of you. And um, I think I pretty much have been nailing this to the wall. So with regard to the market, one last thing. I'm going to leave you with this. Caution. A little bit of caution here. Because unless they jump in and stop buying bonds, there's going to be a problem in this environment with these with this market. But don't be surprised. Again, if you're watching... If, I'm watching that chart on my website right here, just like you are. If this sell-off continues, um, there's going to be trouble ahead for the stock market. could be in a day or two or three or even this week. But I'm almost convinced they're going to do what they've been doing. Get in there and just start buying it, buying bonds across the board. Then what are they going to do? You know this. If you follow, they're going to stop buying small caps. That's how they prop it up. If that doesn't work or only works, maybe a, a nudge, just a nudge, they're going to stop buying tech. It's, a, it, it's the same pattern that repeats itself over and over and over again. And I can't believe that the regulators, whoever they may be out here, don't see the same things that I see. You know I mean, I'm, well, even if they did, they're going to ignore it. You know it and I know it, and it's frankly disgusting. All right, with that said, I'm really excited, again, as usual, to follow this up at the end of the day. We'll talk about what the bond market did, what the stock market did, and every freaking thing else in the middle. All right, with that said, I'll see you later. Have a look at the bond market. Watch it. Look at that big red drop right on my chart. It, it couldn't be easier to look at on my website, truestruest.net. Over and out, people. See you later.